Okay, listen. The design team has done their work. Clearly, the new Prius is beautiful. Here at Marketing, though, we have a different job. We're here to sprinkle the pixie dust of excitement and capture the youth. How do we make the new Prius cool? We've already had some great ideas. Hybrid Reborn on the tailgate. Oh, wonderful. Putting the P from Prius on the gas cap. Inspired. What else do we got? What else do we got? Uh, Come on. Come on. Uh, Come on. Uh, Twitter's big at the moment. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. My nephew uses it. Yep. Uh, and okay. he uses uh, hashes. Oh, hash, oh, hash, hash browns. Hash brown. No, hashtags. Hashtags. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hashtags. What are those exactly? Uh, luggage tag, you, you label the luggage hashtag right. like a modern label, right. so we right. label things. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so what do we label? How do we, how do we let them discover things? How do we make these Easter eggs? Um, okay. Uh, this, okay. Yep. Yep. The seatbelt. Yep. You move it out of the way. Yep. Hashtag safety first. Oh my God. Written on the seat. Oh my God. Oh my God. <clears throat> Uh, okay, I love it. I love it. More, more, um, more. You, uh, the, the wireless yep. charger. Yep. You take yep. the phone out. Yep. You look yep. down in there. Yep. Hashtag wireless charger. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. That was so good. Come on, more. There's more. Uh, the glove box. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. When Pretty it's closed, yep. nothing. Yeah. Open it. Yep. Hashtag glove box. No. Nope. Nope. I can't. Nope. <clears throat> okay! Whew. All right, what is the ultimate Easter egg? The pièce de résistance. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, okay. I yep. think I, I got Yes. This. Center console. Yep. Just in front. Yes. If you don't know about it, you, you don't know about it. Yep. Yeah, I K Y K. Yep. You open it. Yes. Hidden compartment. Inside the hidden compartment, it says, Hashtag hidden compartment! Yeah! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh my yes! god. <laughs> yes! You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And that's the new Prius. And a lot of people are saying that it's cool now, but that's confusing because it seems like the definition of cool is changing. A lot of things that were once uncool are now cool. Yeah, like Dungeons and Dragons. Stranger things happens and bam, now that's cool. Two strapping your backpack, perfectly acceptable. Kale even though it tastes like you're eating thorns. But this time, society didn't change. The Prius did. For one thing, the exterior gets a much needed makeover and the interior, which previously had the gauge cluster in the center of the car, is completely revamped. Under the hood, there's now a two liter engine and a revised hybrid system. Altogether, that makes horsepower jump 60% from 121 to 196. Torque is up 20%. The center of gravity is lower, and it's still light at just over 3,300 pounds as tested, despite being all-wheel drive. But those things don't make it cool. Neither do hashtags. Cool changes. Cool is subjective. For example, at one point, James thought that Honing noobs in Call of Duty was cool, but now the coolest thing for him is that he just installed a smart thermostat in his home. So, so it's done now. It's done now. It learns what you. It's like it's set and forget. How can you, Andrew? Have I shown you this? Okay. In case you haven't noticed, people have been making fun of the Prius for years. Yeah. And I think a part of that is because it's just so sensible. It's not daring, it's not risky. And the fact that it's sensible means that it shows you have your life together, all right? And in this world, in this life, having your life together is cool. Borderline sexy. Am I right, ladies? 
So it gets that. Where it hasn't been sexy or cool is the way it looks. But that's changed now too. Toyota says that this new design is more modern, more progressive and smart. It's, it's basically the guy that your parents said they wanted you to be. And they've achieved that by a lower roof line, a lower hip line. It's 22 millimeters wider. All of that coupled with the bigger wheels makes this Prius quite sleek. It no longer looks like a slug that Al Gore has donated wheels to. And that's not all they've improved. Thomas, are you excited to drive this? I've literally wet myself with excitement. Oh, bloody hell, you have. Okay, I'm just gonna turn that on there. Dry me off. All right, here it is, the Prius. Oh, there's a four cylinder with a continuously variable transmission attached to it that is seamlessly cutting in as it gets up to a speed where the EV part can't keep up. You know what, we've gone from 10 seconds to seven seconds, zero to 60, and oh boy, can you feel it. It's not that quick, but it's quick enough now. It was slow before, it's, it's less slow now. I will say that if you are accelerating at a constant rate, you do get an unpleasant drone from the engine. Here, listen to this. You know what? It's not about sound, okay? It's about efficiency, and efficiency is key in a Prius. Efficiency is cool now. The most important thing you need to know about the Prius is that it is incredibly inoffensive to drive. It's easy to steer, the throttle is simple, the power is immediate, the ride is great, actually. Visibility, amazing. If I was gonna nitpick, I would say that it has the numbest steering of any car that I think I've ever driven, but it's so light that it's not fatiguing if you were driving this around a city for hours and hours and hours. You know what? You're not gonna get tired, which is probably the goal of a car like this. Do I love driving it? No, I don't love driving it, but that's not what it's about. I, I'm not thinking about the car when I'm driving it. All I'm thinking about is how much money I'm saving on fuel. So in conclusion, the new Prius is great to drive. It's easy and cool. Okay. Thomas, I can't believe that Prius actually also means crown. <laughs> it doesn't actually mean crown. No, but actually what it does mean is way more exciting. That's true. Okay, you get ready for this. Prius, I bet you didn't know this. Prius means sexy. Nope, it's not it's not that. Voluptuous. No, it's not that Perfect. either. Perfect. Nope. It means pre previous. Pr prior to. Basically when they came up with the name it meant that previous to this car there wasn't really a hybrid <laughs> like it. It had not yet been a hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Groundbreaking stuff. Uh, well, this is an exciting car now, you know? This is no, a... hold back on this. <laughs> you can't, it's not an exciting car. This... It is a good car. It's a great car, even. This is in Windchill Pearl. You love your color names, don't you? Well, you know what the black's called? What? Black. Wow. All right. Actually? So, yeah. <laughs> so we're standing in front of the limited all-wheel drive. So in Canada, we only get all-wheel drive. Yep. US people, you're lucky you get both. Yep. But this is basically fully spec. So it's like 40 three grand Canadian, 36 grand US. Yes. Top trim, I don't think that's too bad. On a no, top. it's not too bad for, for like, for the range and the, well no, sorry, the range isn't actually that good. It, you're only getting like 500-ish kilometers of range. Yeah, so we were getting great miles per gallon. Miles per gallon. Uh, we're getting like 51 on the highway. Yeah, yeah. But it's only a 40 liter tank, which it, in gallons is this much. And, it's good uh, for the city. That's the whole idea of it, right? Yeah. But no, okay, so the looks, much improved. Yes. Right? Yes. Very wedgy. It's a wedge. But it's a, like a good looking wedge now. Yeah, I yeah. like it. I it's like, like a fresh it. doorstop, not one that's been used for 20 years. I, I'm more interested in, given the fact that there is a, now a Corolla hybrid all wheel drive. Right. What is better about this on the inside? Because that's where the extra expense is. Yeah, and when, speaking of the design, as we get in, you realize that the reason it's so low and sleek is because there's not a lot of headroom. <laughs> Hitting the slopes. 
Okay. Okay. We this is a very familiar interior because yep. Thomas and I didn't go on the traditional launch of this car. No. We kind of accidentally did an entire tour of Southern California. In it. <laughs> yeah. So we've had a lot of time. Yep. A lot of seat time. In these seats, which are good. Very comfortable They're seats. Very, very good. Very good. And yeah. the interior is we, we had to get used to some things. Yep. But I think we did. Um, and it's obviously more upmarket. So because this is the limited, we have auto up and down windows. Heated, wow. He, he yeah. did, well, you're denied that on the XM. Yeah, I know, yeah. Heated and ventilated seats, which yep. work quite nicely. And they're also like hashtag physical buttons, which is nice, right? They you are. Don't, you don't have to like go into a stupid menu or do anything yes, like that, yes. right? Yes, uh, And then we've got the upgraded eight-speaker JBL sound system, which we're constantly disappointed by. Yeah. It's a shame. It's, um, it's just not good enough for being the upgraded one. Correct, right? yeah. Uh, this is nicely designed here. Yes. We've got this hashtag blue light bar here, yep. which does some fun things. When someone pulls away from you at a traffic light, it does a little flash. Yeah. You, you know, some dashes light up saying car in front's moving. It's literally going like, listen, we know you're not supposed to, but we know you're probably going to look at your phone at a stoplight. Yeah. So just get going, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> but you've, <laughs> say, yeah. you've had some fun with that gauge cluster because it's, it's a bit weird. It's a bit far away. It's far And away. there's way too much like hashtag information in it all at the same time. That you, and it's above the steering wheel. Yeah. Which, I mean, it's not new to this, but like, I just still, I still don't like this concept. Like, there's a great spot here that you yeah. can put the information. I think, it, I think it's previous gen looking on a yes. brand new car. Yeah, like, this looks great and new. It's not the best UI, but like, it's, look, on Apple CarPlay, totally fine. Yeah, right? this isn't far off BMW. One thing they have decided to do that we've found a bit strange is the volume button is here. Yes. And I don't know whether that's because they haven't switched it for the left-hand drive cars, but fortunately, you have a ton of physical buttons on the steering wheel, and this is a volume control here. So. Yeah, it, speaking of physical buttons, we did test all the lane keep assist and all that stuff. It's like yeah. pretty good. It was good. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. it was good. Uh, the wireless charger we've tested, our phones get real hot. Oh so. yeah, it doesn't charge them at all, but it gets them really yeah. hot. So. <laughs> it does It does charge them. It just, uh, <laughs> it just it prioritizes thermal energy over uh, <laughs> <No>. ki kinetic. <laughs> um, yeah, no, yeah. The, the, the same kind of gear selector as before. Yeah, that's the hybrid. Which you knocked into neutral for me while we were on the highway. Well, only because you were complaining that this was stabbing you on the side. Because there. it was. It's a little bit sharp right there, and that's where yeah. my knee rests. I wasn't yeah. a huge fan of that. Uh, rear seats, the well, because we've got this sloped roof, yeah. There is a very which looks really cool, by the way. Yeah. So, oh, one thing we've learned on this trip mm -hmm. um, was that when a when the rake of the windscreen is as aggressive as it is, it has to have a certain amount of glass. Yeah. And we discovered this on the new Ford GT, which you may not have seen the video for yet. Maybe we didn't do it. And so they did a slit of just glass further down, and the Prius has the same thing. Just so, just so it meets regulations of how much angle there has to be from your eyes to the ground. Because yeah, it's deeply raked. Yeah. Uh, we have the double sunroof with the, with the bar, which is not great. No. Um, but the rear seats are very comfortable, plenty of legroom, not much headroom. Not much headroom, And no. I don't want to say that this is an Uber, because that's, that's not fair to this car, because I would happily daily own this car. Yeah. But it does have Uber vibes. Yeah. And they've made some weird decisions. The rear door handles aren't physical handles on the door. So first of all, they're electric. So when you just pull it open, you expect to just be able to do it in one fell motion, but there's actually a slight delay because it, it just like, there's a ching, ching, and then it opens. Yeah, and let's say you were drunk and you needed to get back in the back of your Uber. Yeah, it's but 2 a.m. It wouldn't be so intuitive yeah. as to how to get in the back of your Uber. No, you're expecting it to be, the door handle to be in a certain place and it's, no. it's just not. But I mean, otherwise this is a very inoffensive car, right? It's like, it's hashtag comfortable. There's, there's like, there's nothing about it that's just annoying, right? Like there's a few things that I, I would like to be changed. But other than that, totally inoffensive experience to drive and to live with. Yeah, and we, we said it was a baby. We said the Crown was a grown up version of a Prius. Yeah. And that feels more true now. There's, yeah. There's some things here that don't match the Crown level, like this bit here, the bit of trim here looks like yeah. it's been cut out with scissors. And, yeah. But for the most part, at the price point, no complaints. Conclusion? Hashtag conclusion. Getting excited about a new Prius is like getting excited about a good mortgage rate. It's something that eventually comfortably becomes back of mind. And the new Prius is great. If you want to go quicker and longer, there's a plug-in hybrid coming in the form of a Prius Prime. But even this normal Prius finally looks good enough and goes quick enough. The interior is intuitive and comfortable, 
and the ride is great. But is it cool? Well, for us, it's definitely cooler, and maybe that's as good as a Prius can ever get. And you know what? That's fine. If the older Prius was a good enough F-Shack for Dirty Mike and the boys, let's just say I wouldn't leave this one abandoned under an overpass anytime soon. Thanks for watching. I'm like, yeah, here's that. That's so good. <laughs> right, okay. Um, can you just come and slap your ass at me for a bit? <laughs> <laughs> I, need to I need to desensitize. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, um. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I can't do it. <laughs>